Hey guys, welcome back to my Dark Souls 3 Ashes of Ariandel DLC blind playthrough. I'm recording on November the 12th, Saturday, 2016. And I am going to head to the boss fight right now. Head to what I assume is going to be a boss fight. I don't know this for a fact. But I'm gathering from the messages here. May the flames guide thee all the more. Huh, so you're saying I should definitely positively... Well, use an ember for one thing. I imagine this will be wasted. But we'll see. Let's see how this goes. Duo ahead, therefore try eliminating one at a time. Hey, excellent idea. The uh, the tiny little bit that I read about this boss when I I mean when I read that there was another boss, uh, the tiny bit that I read did sort of suggest there were going to be two two um, folks to fight here. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Wonder if maybe I'll need to use these to hide behind, like to break line of sight or something. There's. Oh! Oh! Hello! It's a dog! That's the champion's grave tender. And a bunch of wolves. Whoops, that was supposed to be. Damn it, I changed weapons again. All right, let's see if I can do this weapon th thing the way I'm supposed to. So only... Only three wolves and this guy. Uh oh I'm dead. Almost dead. Not quite... <laughs> now who's doing the repost? Huh? Or was that a parry? I don't know. Alright, I know there's going to be a phase two. Oh look, there's phase two right there. It's a big ass dog! I remember him. I remember that guy. I remember the big ass dog now. Calm down. Stay calm. Shit. I'm dead. Wow. That's all it took. Alright, I came close to killing that dude. Came close. That was good. I like my performance. I like my chances now. I think this one's gonna be a piece of cake. There's not gonna be anything to this fight. It's going to be a piece of cake. That's my story, and I am sticking to it. I'm not even going to have to do any editing, I bet. Uh, let's 
Let's do this and this. Rings, let me put on this. I didn't see where any bleed damage was being done. Alright, you bastards. You bastards. Blows. Oh, go, go, go. No, too late. Jump. Ah. Wow, I made the same noise as my character there. Oh, shit, I did it again. All right, well, I can totally. Oh, I hear that wolf. I hear you, Wolfie. And you killed me. I was trying too hard to kill the Grave Tender. Alright, not a problem. Not a problem. Not a problem. It's all good. It's all gonna be fine. At least you don't have to run very far. I'm not using embers because I don't... I just feel like I'm gonna waste them. And I recall how hard it was to get them again, so... Or not hard, just... just took a long time. Oh, damn it! I need to stop swinging so fast. Now's when I need to be careful. There he is. Shit. I see you. What? Alright, this is a little harder than I thought. Not a problem. It's not a problem at all. It'll be fine. Why does he have an icon? What does that mean? When a boss has an icon. <laughs> I'm trying to parry now. <laughs> oh, we got you now. Okay, one down. Where is he? Where is he? Where is Wolfie? Oh shit, I don't like the lux. Sound of that! Are we dead? Are we dead right now? We are dead right now, aren't we? I can't get a damn heal in. Stuck. Shit, I knew I should have healed. I knew it. I knew it. I, tr I was trying to get into a better position before I healed. I should have just healed right th out there in the open. That was dumb. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I got you now, dude. It's all over now. 
I, he says as he almost dies. What? Who hit me? Oh, the, the spells. I forgot the spells. Wow. Alright, alright, alright. 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 Messages were right about the parries, I gotta say. God, my weapon seems so slow and laggy! God damn it! God, that was so laggy! Ugh. It's like press the button and it doesn't do anything until a second later. Even though I'm not doing as well as I thought I would be doing after one or two tries. I still think it's not going to take me as long to get this boss as the Sister Frida boss. Well, that did not go well. Well, at least I'll be able to spend several hours editing video. We certainly wouldn't want to have to complete our video series without hours and hours of editing. What fun would that be? That reminds me of Vort when he... What?! Wow. I was gonna say he reminds me of Vort when he does that jumping around thing. Whatever. Whatever. I could see something. See him. There he is. Hello, Wolfie. a million miles away from that thing. Jesus Christ, how long do I have to stay on the ground? Oh God. Yep, 
Yep, yep, yep. Got him. Yes! Champion's Bones, Valor Heart. Air of Fire destroyed. Ember restored. Bonfire lit. The world is saved. Praise the sun. Praise the you. Therefore, praise the sun. Thank you. Thank you for praising the me. Alright, what did I get out of this? I bet I got that guy's shield, didn't I? I literally have no memory of what I picked up. No idea what I got. No idea whatsoever. Well, I know I got a soul, so let's look at the soul. Soul of the Lords? That's not what I got, right? No. That's Lord Gwyn. Aldrich. Where... Where the where is the soul that I just picked up? I mean, am I missing something? I don't seem to be missing anything. Where the hell is it? What happened? Champion's bones. Here we go. It's a key. The charred but warm bones of a champion burn at the Firelink Shrine bonfire to participate in undead matches. Long ago, an undead declared a fight. A fight to celebrate their undeath and to preserve what remained of their souls. So it was that the undead matches were born. The merit of an undead is measured in deaths. Could there be a greater gift for such a creature than a fight that has no end? Well, if the merit is measured in deaths, then I should be great at that. Because I'm sure I will die a lot in any PvP matches. Okay, what was the other thing? So, I, did I not get a soul? Am I crazy here? Did I miss something completely? Wait, I should look around a little bit. Is there anything else around here that I need to look at? I'm almost positive there's nothing here, but I'm going to make a quick run around here just in case. A lot of nice scenery. I didn't even need an ember, man. I just rocked him without an ember. I don't even think I used the fire. The uh, fire resin. The wolf appeared to sustain great amounts of damage whenever I hit him, as opposed to the guy that was. Took a lot more hits to kill him. All right, going back to Firelink Shrine. I wish I remembered what that second item was. Maybe it was, uh, I bet it was one of those, um, like covenant items. Let me see. Way of Blue, Blade of Rosaris, Mound Makers, Watchdogs. No, maybe not. Alright, let's see what happens here. Burn Champion's Bones. I shall burn them. They are burnt. Undead match. How does this even work? Oh wow, match format duel. Two player brawl. Every man for himself. Compete for the most kills within the time limit. Use of Estus Flask and Ashen. Estus Flask is limited. Four player brawl. Six player brawl. Brawl group. Join either four or six player brawl. Two versus two. Combatants are divided into two teams. Compete for the most kills within the time limit. Use of Estus Flask and Ashen. Ashen Estus Flask is limited. 3v3. Co op match. Duel. 
the duel is one-on-one. -on -one. Fight till one has fallen. Use of Estus Flask is forbidden. Use of Ashen Estus Flask is limited. Oh, interesting. Interesting. The arena is Kiln of Flame. I wonder if you can unlock more after that. Well, that's, I mean, that's not something I'm interested in, but it actually sounds more interesting than any previous version of Dark Souls. Uh, so let me go run up here to see if there's anything I can trade in, which I'm assuming not, since I didn't get a soul. At least I sure couldn't find one. I guess the only reason to kill that boss is to unlock the PvP thing. I swear to God, I got two things out of that. Why? What was the other one? Am I going to have to go back to the video to figure out what it was? That would just be embarrassing. Was it a sunlight medal? It couldn't have been that. It. I thought it was a round thing. I. My. I initially thought it was a shield. Couldn't have been a rusted coin, right? Dual charm? Maybe it was a dual charm. I think you get those for... I don't even know. I just don't know. Okay, well, I'm going to stop here and start, uh, I guess, start working on video editing. And uh, I will see you in a bit. Hey, I found the, uh, the item, the other item I got. It was right there next to my main sword the whole time. Valor Heart. It is a circular shape, so I, I was right about that at least. It's a special straight sword. Standard strike thrust. Appears to be a uh, two-handed kind of a thing. Yeah, there we go. When you go two-handed, it goes to the sword and shield for some reason. It's kind of weird. unusual. There's that move that that guy was doing the whole time. There's the heavy swing. There's the light swing. Kind of slow. Whoosh. Whoosh. Ah, there's the wolf sound. So let's read what the uh, description of it says. Whoops. Weapon once yielded by the champion of the undead match. A special paired set consisting of a broadsword and a lion shield. Oh, that was a lion. The champion fought on without rest until he lost his mind. In the end, only his page and a lone wolf stayed at his side. Page. I feel like that's spelled wrong, but I'm not sure. Skill lion stance. While in stance, use normal attack to thrust forward with shield up. And strong attack to execute a shield bash with a lion's roar. So there you go. That's Valor Heart. That's the other item that I picked up. So I thought I would just look around a little bit here before I go. I cleared out, I believe, all of the enemies around here. Ah, pointless. It is indeed. I think I'm going to be able to get back on here. So I can go back up here. There was one spot I wanted to see if I could get to. Hopefully without doing any uh, weird somersaults or anything. Overall, I would say that I have enjoyed this DLC. As... As always, I wish it was longer. This is new, right? Oh, follow saber. Sweet. Whoops, wrong button. I actually got some cool here. Follower saber. Curved sword. Great curved sword used. The Great curved sword wielded by Farron followers. Its great weight enables heavy-handed chain attacks. The followers brandish their swords to hunt warriors taken by the abyss. 
Their technique is honed to face men, implying those yet to lose their human aspect are their likeliest prey. Those yet to lose their human aspect. Okay, skill prying wedge. Chain attack that wedges below foes and swings upward, breaking their guard. I think I've seen that. It's, uh, it's kind of annoying, I gotta say. If it's what I think it is. Oh, it's a cool looking sword. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to get where I wanted to go here. Not from there, anyway. Let's look around a little bit more. So yeah, I've, I've enjoyed this DLC. I wish it had been longer. But I've gotten pretty good uh, amount of gameplay out of it, I suppose. Climbing up the things. Okay, from here I can jump down there. Or can I... Can I get to here... Ah, and from here, yes, this leads up to where that archer was bugging us. This thing's fast. Aha, over there is where that, the couple of guys that I uh, jumped down on. And this, I am sure, is going to lead up to where that message is. There it is. And the message will say, ah, pointless. Praise the pointless. <laughs> Yay. Oh, shit. I almost jumped back off the edge. Oh, can't get there. Well, it's it's not pointless in the sense that it at least leads me back up here to the ladder. I guess that is the point of it. All right then. Well, I guess I am uh, I am finished with this DLC. Unless um, I'll probably go back and check and see if maybe I missed something, um, and then I'll go check that out maybe. But probably this will be the end of this series uh, where I explored the Ashes of Ariandel Dark Souls Three DLC. Um, I guess I will see you next time for the next DLC, where I assume that we will find out where Gale found the Dark Soul of Man, because it seems like that's what we're waiting for. We're waiting for Gale to bring Elfrida some pigment so that she can finish her painting, and I have a strong feeling that we're going to be going into that painting in the next DLC. It's just my guess, just my hunch. Just a gut feeling based on nothing but what I've seen in the game. But that's kind of what it looks like. Alright, well, thanks for watching everybody. Hope it was tolerable. Hope it wasn't too terrible. Possibly even enjoyable at times. And I will see you next time for the next set of videos, whatever they might be. Thanks for watching. See you later.